Today's video will be replacing this bathroom medicine cabinet. A lot of times when you're trying to upgrade your bathroom, just doing small replacements can really change the look of your home. Specifically, your handles for your doors, your outlet covers, your light fixture, your medicine cabinet, and your bathroom faucet. You can upgrade all of these to just you know get extra value out of your home. This is one of the old style medicine cabinets. You can see here, uh, the frame just kind of sticks out of the wall. The more modern ones, they're recessed, a little pushed in, kind of gives the appearance of a more spacious bathroom. Even when you would do a side-by-side -side comparison, you see the more modern ones, they're, I mean, just even the little design that's in the actual glass itself, whereas this one just looks kind of bulky and you have the frame around it. So we're going to go ahead and swap these out and uh, you'll see the difference that it'll make for your bathroom. Basically, we're going to remove four screws that secure this medicine cap. You'll want to do is you'll want to take your blade and you'll want to score around the corners or the sides of your medicine cabinet. You can see there's just, you know, caulking and paint and it will act as an adhesive. So go ahead and just score around the sides of your medicine cabinet to remove it. Once you do that, it simply pulls right out. Here we have our new mirror and we're basically putting it in. Make sure when you put your medicine cabinet, you put it in the proper hinge. If you want it to be a right swing or a left swing, depending on the layout of your home. When you're drilling in your screws, just make sure that you go in straight. Try not to go in at an angle. If you go in at an angle, what happens is as you're tying this down, it'll actually pull the frame inwards. And when you try to close your medicine cabinet front door, it'll actually warp and it won't hit the magnet. So you want to make sure that you go in straight like this to make sure it's even on all four sides. You don't have to over torque it either. We want to test the door. We want to make sure that the magnet grabs this back. If you close it and it doesn't catch, most likely you'll have to reset your screws and just make it more even. And you can see here that it does close nice and even. Just the finished look of it just looks much more elegant than the previous one that we removed. If this video was a help, if it was informational, please subscribe.